you might have heard that the Lake States has a lot of forest land. And we do. Lots of different kinds of forest. And it's owned by all sorts of different owners. So do you suppose that makes a difference in terms of how the land is managed? You betcha. So stay tuned for this episode of Believe It or Not, and we'll explore the complicated world of forest ownership. Mm, you know, this is my tree. I don't think so, Georgia. This is my tree talking about it's my tree no oh, i'm pretty sure it's my tree well okay wait a minute whose trees are these anyway well georgia and bill we're on state forest land in northern michigan so really these are our trees and these are your trees so i think we can share well all right oh okay if we have to mm -hmm. The Department of Natural Resources manages forests for all of us. It's a network of millions of trees, and lots of things happen on those state and county forest lands. Anyone can visit them to enjoy well, all kinds of recreation like camping, hiking, snowmobiling, skiing, and lots of other fun activities. But state forests are just the beginning. We have state parks, too, and there's hundreds of them. So what is the difference between state parks and state forests? Well, you know, George, that's, that's a really good question, actually. Uh, state lands manage for a lot of different things, lumber and wildlife and water, they juggle all the time. Yeah, and those DNR state foresters and biologists have to balance all of those different requirements to meet those objectives. But they've been doing a good job of it for over 100 years. And that's something, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. <laughs> Great job juggling and balancing, guys. You know, there's millions more acres of public forest land that's managed by the U.S. Forest Service. Wait, wait, what's the difference then between state forest land and forest service land? So the Forest Service is a national agency. They manage forest land all over the entire country. Huh. That's a lot of forest land, but I think we're still missing about 23 million more acres. What's going on with that? I can help you sort that out. So as a conservation district forester, I help private landowners um, to learn more about their forests so they can better manage for wildlife, recreation, forest health, even timber or whatever else they want to manage for. So then who owns those lands that aren't managed by state or federal agencies? Most of the land is owned by individual families, just like yours or mine. I don't own any land. Ah, but I own a bunch of trees on my oh. land. Well, okay, other than Bill, how many of them are out there? Well, there's almost half a million family forest owners in the Lake States. They own anywhere from 10 acres to thousands of acres. Wow. Hmm, I bet all of those owners don't own their forest land for the same reasons. But Bill, why do you own your land? Oh, lots of reasons to own my land. I, I, I burn it, I cut it, I prune it, I plant trees, I manage for timber and for, for my Tweety birds. I like my Tweety birds. Mm -hmm. oh. Many other forest landowners manage for those same things. Uh, most of them say they like to be out in the peace of nature. Other landowners, they might use their property for riding the trails, hunting, or even just picking berries. They can even sustainably manage or sustainably harvest their timber for a little extra income too. Ooh. Money. I like that idea. You know, Nia, I, I bet there's more to this private ownership complex thing than what we've talked about so far, isn't there? There sure are, Bill. Forestry companies own and manage lots of land as well, and they're managing mostly for timber. Yeah, well, we all need that. And then there are organizations and, and con land conservancies that own land for other kinds of goals too, right? Oh, of course. They're often managing their land for wildlife habitat or maybe for a specific endangered species. Um, okay. All these organizations, they might be allowing public access as well. Cool. Very cool. Wow. Hey, you know who else owns forested land? Who? Schools. Oh, oh. yeah, schools. <laughs> Not every school owns a school forest, but hundreds of them do. They use those forests to teach a lot of different classes. 
Oh yeah, I suppose like environmental studies, uh, zoology, biology, that sort of stuff. Yeah, but also subjects like art, literature, math. Oh yeah, and forest management. <laughs> yeah, you know, your school might own a school forest. You should see if you do. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's a lot of forest land for a lot of different people and a lot of different uses. It sure is. And that's why there's foresters like me who are around to keep track of the best ways that we can manage our forest land based on landowner goals. And thinking of that, thanks Nia for mm -hmm. shining a little light on some of this ownership mix and complexity that we've been talking about today. Yeah, you're welcome. So if your family owns forest land or there's public land nearby, there are lots of different ways that you can get out and enjoy. So see you next time on another episode of Believe, Believe It or Not. not.